Uh, let's return now to uh, the UKIP story. You'll be aware, of course, of three uh, frontbench resignations from UKIP. Um, Margot Parker, uh, William Dartmouth in the last short while, and also John Bickley this morning, all resigning in protest at the party leader Henry Bolton's decision to continue as leader. We can talk now to UKIP's chairman, Paul Oakton. He's in our Birmingham studio. And good morning to you. Isn't it counterproductive for UKIP, all these resignations? Well, people have to do what they feel uh, is most appropriate for them in the positions that they have. If the individual, individuals you've just mentioned uh, think it best serves the party for them to stand to one side and let the membership have their say on Henry Bolton's leadership, then they're perfectly entitled to do so. It's not some sort of strategy then? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. I mean, this is, a, this is an issue that resonates very deeply with a lot of people. Everybody has a strength of feeling on it one way or the other. Uh, as I say, it's for each individual to determine what they think is the right course of action for them, provided, as I say, and I, I'm, I, I'm hopeful that this is the case, that they all have the party's long-term interests at heart. So the next steps, uh, if Henry Bolton doesn't decide to go of his own accord, is this uh, extraordinary emergency meeting in February. Could the party members back him, or do you think they are in tune with what the rest of the party's front bench seems to be saying? Well, I'm not going to predetermine what that meeting, what the outcome of that meeting will be. Uh, from my perspective, what is very clear for me and for every member of our party is that UKIP are absolutely crucial over the next 12 months in delivering the Brexit that 17.4 million voters are looking for. It is crucial that the party gets behind its leader because as the, as the largest grassroots organisation capable of taking that Leave campaign to the streets of Britain, uh, we need to be cohesive behind well, the leader. Let Henry Bolton membership... get on with that then? Because, you know, this continues the uh, divisiveness that the public is seeing around UKIP. Well, for the reasons I've just said, Anita, because the party membership need to be behind their leader in taking that campaign forward. And frankly, it's better that they have their ability democratically to make that decision now so that we can focus on very important local elections and then the Brexit campaign that will inevitably follow over the summer than have this drag on. And I think the decision that was made yesterday by the National Executive Committee was specifically for that purpose, to allow the membership to have their say, to keep Henry as leader, should they wish, or to, to set about the process of putting in a replacement ready for that battle that's to come over the summer. A Ms. battle which, by the way, is more important than all of this put together. Mr Bolton argues that this is fundamentally a huge personality clash. Uh, well, we're a political party that is full of big personalities, as is every party. Uh, you know, what we do have, thankfully, is a robust constitution and process that allows our membership democratically to decide who its leader should be. There have been some very serious issues raised over the last two or three weeks with regard to judgment. The membership now will have their opportunity to have their say. As far as I'm concerned, as chairman, I'm entirely confident that UKIP will come together cohesively to campaign for those 17.4 million British voters that want to leave the European Union who should absolutely remain our priority. Just finally, you talk about a party full of big personalities. Would you welcome Nigel Farage back as leader? I would welcome any, anything that Nigel Farage wants to do in UKIP would be welcome. I think Nigel himself would probably prefer to never be the leader of UKIP again, purely because I think he had enough of it after six years. He's made it clear that he remains loyal to UKIP, supportive of UKIP. He's made it clear he's not going to go away and start another political party. That's, we're grateful for that. You know, this is a time for us all to come together, including Nigel, to ask ourselves what can we do, as I say, to represent those 17.4 million voters who are actually important, more important than anything else we might be talking about today. OK, Paul Oakton, UKIP chairman, thank you very much. Thank you.